Hello, San Marcos. I'm your mayor, Jane Hewson. I appreciate each of you and also appreciate the gravity of the new struggles we are facing. We at the city are concerned for everyone's safety during these extraordinary times, and we should all be taking responsible actions to keep each other safe. Simple things, such as washing our hands often and staying home if we feel sick, are some of the most important things we can do to keep ourselves and each other healthy. And stay informed, really informed, by monitoring our website at sanmarcustx.gov. Today, a critical situation is unfolding in our world and in our hometown. Since first arriving in the United States, the novel coronavirus 2019, or COVID-19, has done more to interrupt our livelihoods, economies, and service systems than anything in nearly a century. People in our community, our friends and neighbors are suffering. Let's keep them in our thoughts, but most importantly, do what we can to help them out. Unfortunately, this virus has been around in other countries for months and has wreaked havoc across the world. However, we have been able to learn from the experiences of our friends in other countries as it has spread across their urban areas. So far, the most important thing we have learned in this devastating recent history is that the consequence for inaction is loss on an unacceptable scale. So we, as a community and as a government system, must put all of our efforts into life and resiliency. These are unprecedented times. Over the last few days, our region has declared a state of disaster and restricted gatherings of people. We have closed some of our public-facing facilities and canceled events. Although we can assure you we will continue to offer the services that are vital to our community, to be honest with you, we don't know right now when non-critical operations will resume, and we hope it's sooner rather than later. But we are doing everything within our power to prevent the further spread of this virus. We hope that through our efforts, local businesses, organizations, and families will incorporate these tough choices into their new normal. And speaking of the new normal, I want to shine light on some of the amazing work of our community in the face of this virus in the last few days. Neighbors are helping one another more than ever. The school district and volunteers have worked nonstop to provide meals to students and families. We applaud the efforts of these Good Samaritans to extend care to the vulnerable during these hard times and hope to continue to see this kind of response. I also want to take a minute to highlight our business community who are adjusting through innovation and long-term planning to weather the storm. Many restaurants have converted to takeout only. Grocery stores and Amazon are hiring new employees to keep up with the demand for supplies. The Chamber of Commerce and our economic partners, the Greater San Marcos Partnership, have quickly compiled resources for businesses, including information for disaster assistance loans and tax relief opportunities. The United Way of Hayes and Caldwell Counties has reinstated their disaster relief fund to assist residents in these counties who have been economically affected by the virus with funds for their utility bills and rent. We are inspired by the creativity in this town and encourage residents to do what they can to help us keep our business community afloat. I understand the concern of an overreaction, but a glance at the official fatality count, rates of severe lung injury, or the overwhelmed facilities and medical workers in China and Italy should be all we need to know that these measures are appropriate. As of this speech, there are five positive cases in Hayes County. We expect the number to rise, and we, along with our local and regional partners and healthcare professionals, are preparing to meet the need for care given that each of us does everything within our own means to halt the spread. Let's continue to show that we are a city of strength, innovation, and resiliency. We have been and will continue to be San Marcos Stronger Together.